Okay, first of all, as I said, congratulations, Agent Thanks. X. And you're also the boss. So you have an amazing <laughs> role and you're the boss. How in the world are you doing all of that? You know, I wanted to do a series for quite some time because I'm a single mom. And I wanted to work at home mm -hmm. in L.A. and in our country. And, you know, it just takes time. And it takes the willingness to turn down the things that aren't right. It, it takes a lot of discipline and integrity until you get to the good thing. This is your first series. Why did you wait so long to, to do this? I waited for the good thing. I, I knew that I wanted to do something that had a woman in a, in a, in a sort of political situation, in, in, a, in a way that talked about politics, but it also in a way that was fun. And so you played the vice president. And yes. how apropos, considering the fact that now Hillary is running for president, so does she get your, your nod? Of course she does. Yes. Uh, Hillary is the person who is, for me, the best Secretary of State we've had since Henry Kissinger. And of course Kissinger couldn't run because of his status as a citizen. But, you know, Hillary, man or woman, is just such a great person to be president because of her global understanding that she has garnered being Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. She's an educated woman who's been in politics all of her life. And for me to play vice president during this prescient moment when women are in such, so many powerful positions politically mm -hmm. and when we're very apt to have a woman as president. It's, it's a very exciting time in the world to be playing something that is really in that moment, mm -hmm. in that historical moment. You are a mother of three. You have three boys. I do. What is it like in your house with three boys? And one of them is a teenager? You know, I'm very proud of my children. I have had the great good fortune of having really great kids. My kids are really, really smart, and they're all smart in really different and wonderful ways. My soon-to-be 15-year-old is building his own computers. Wow. My soon-to-be 10-year-old is getting almost straight A's and is, is an exceptional athlete. My soon-to-be nine-year-old is also getting spectacular grades and is the most charming, funny guy and can hit a wiffle ball, like, into the neighbor's yard.